Hey guys, I just finished filming this makeup look and I am super obsessed. So it was a really quick look. I'm just going to lunch with my mom so I didn't want to have anything too crazy. Um, but I really, really like this. Also in this video, I got to try out some stuff for the first time ever or use something that I've used a couple times and I give you guys a little bit of a review on it on how I'm liking it. P.S. It's amazing. You gotta get it. But if you like this look or want to get some inspiration on a quick and easy look, this is perfect for you. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. All right. So we're going to be using some new stuff that I went and got the other day. I'm super excited um, to try some of this stuff out. Some of it I have already tried and I'm in love. So I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about what I have used, what I haven't used, and we'll go from there. So I have already set my face. I have already got my sunscreen on. I use the Dermalogica Power TRX. It's for like acne scarring and any type of hyperpigmentation. It's an SPF 50. We have something we have to deal with today. It's not okay. Like what the heck? My face, like I literally told my husband the other day, I was like, my face is looking so, so good. And then I woke up with this. Like, why? What is going on? I don't understand. So, since my skin is giving me issues, I'm gonna use my Dermalogica um, Age Smart Skin Perfecting Primer. It's got an SPF of 30 to it. Um, it's amazing, and since it's going to help feed my skin, um, I wanna use it for sure. Um, and it's a nice, like, uh, skincare color. Skin color, not skincare color. Um, I like it. It feels really good. It's hydrating and you also have the SPF, which is amazing. And it helps smooth and your skin just feels amazing. It's my favorite primer, like go-to currently. Um, I have been playing around with my Benefit Professional again and I am liking it, but I think I like this one a little bit better. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the face tape. I did buy this the other day. I have used it twice, so this will be the third time. I am so freaking in love, you guys. Oh my gosh, it does so good. My skin looks good, um, and even after working out, it still looks good. Healthy glow, it doesn't feel heavy, but the coverage is amazing. Like this is my holy grail right now. So the Tarte, face tape and I am in shade light medium honey and I am oily uh, naturally so I'm always kind of worried about something staying on my face but this is amazing and I'm trying to get the amount right of how much I need the first day I didn't use enough the second day I did way too much so today I'm hoping I can get that perfect amount that I need or a little less. I don't want to use too much again. I felt really bad having to wipe off some of it. But this color, I had it matched the other day and oh my gosh, it's perfect for me. And this is just my normal skin color, no fake bake or anything like that. I still like to have it on my neck. It's just something I've always done. I don't think I can get away with not doing it. Um, let's use what's left of my shape tape, tart shape tape, face tape. I love their stuff. This is in shade light. We need some more coverage on this baby. Poor thing, he's like mad. I can't get him to go away. But yeah, if you are on the fence about getting it, get off that fence and run to Ulta or Tarte, uh, Tarte's website. Like, oh my God, it might be a Sephora, I don't know. Okay, that did pretty freaking good at covering him, but I want one more, one more layer. He's just angry and it hurts. Why, why does acne have to hurt? It's not fair. Mm cry like a little baby but <laughs> all right I need to get another one I'm like scraping on both of these but it's so good but I gotta go get another one um let's use the 
Wet n Wild's Banana Powder to set under eyes. It's their Photo Focus line. I just am loving this. Like, I was looking at getting the face tape uh, powder, setting powder. I probably will get it, let's be honest. Like, that's just how I am. I will probably get it. But I talked myself out of it while I was there the other day getting a whole bunch of other stuff. I say a whole bunch, it's not a lot. But when I was getting my other stuff, I was so looking at it, I picked it up, I was trying to match myself, and then I was like, girl, stop. You just bought some setting powder. You do not need this. Like, move on. So I didn't get it yet. Uh, we're gonna set the full face with the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Foundation in shade Light Illusion. Been pleasantly happy with this as well. This is the combination I've been doing the last couple of days and I've been liking how it's working so I'm gonna keep using it. We're bronzing with the Physician's Formula Bronzer, uh, Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. Stuff's amazing. But in saying that, I just want something quick and easy. I don't want to do a full on face. We'll see what happens. I say that all the time. I'm not going to do too much. And then I end up going crazy getting my shirt. Since I don't want to go like full face, don't go crazy, I am going to use the Butter Blush Physicians Formula in the shade Spicy Mauve. I like this color. Looks super natural. Not too in your face, but enough to toot my horn because I'm a blush freak. Oh my god, that reminds me. You guys. I am thinking about getting um, some Buxom blushes. When I was at Ulta the other day, I was looking at some Buxom blushes. Oh my God, they are so pigmented. It was like the extend your tan line or something like that. I've never looked at their blushes before. I've just used their mascara. I was shook, like seriously. It was, I like swiped, and I know swatches aren't the best. I swatched it on my arm. Oh my God, there was like five or six colors. Like I want them all. And honestly, the price, it's only $22 a blush. Like what the heck? I'm probably gonna have to get them. So if you've used them, please let me know and what shade is your favorite and how they last. Um, maybe specifically like for oily skin since I'm more oily. I want to get them, but I want to make sure they're good. I don't know anyone that's ever used them. And obviously I haven't, but the pigment payoff was amazing. So I would like to try them. So please let me know if you like them, what shade you use, and if you recommend them for oily skin specifically. I would love to know. All right, let's do some brows. So I zoomed you guys in. I've already brushed through. And since I want to do something quick and easy, um, and I want to try a different, well, not try it. I know I like it, but use a different brow product. I'm gonna use the Goof Proof uh, Brow Pencil by Benefit. This one's got the nice angle to it if you don't break it off like I did. Um, but it's super easy to use and quite quick. And I feel like I always use Cabral, so this will be a good way for me to use something else and show you guys how easy this product is to use. You can pretty much do everything with just this one. I broke off the tip that gives you that nice little point, um, so it is harder for me to get the tail end of my brows. So... I will be using another one to kind of fix that and then all my bald spots. My bald spots are so bad right now. I feel like I keep having to go in and fix them. Um, so I'm going to use the Precisely My Brow in shade 4 and the Goof Proof is in shade 3. So the Precisely My Brow is super thin super thin so it's really easy to get a precise line
I wouldn't recommend trying to do your whole brow with it for sure but it does give a really nice precise line you guys I am so bad with pencils this is why I don't use pencils I'm always messing up so I'm gonna go in with my brow contour pro by benefit as well and we're gonna go in with the definer side which is like your concealer this is why I always use Cabral. I'm not good with pencils. I always mess up. <laughs> I always think, oh, the pencil will be faster. No, because I mess up. I just got a lot better with the pomades. I think I used them so much that I just got better with them. Whereas when I first started using the pomade, it was really hard for me to get it right. So now we cleaned him up. Let's do the other side. So going back, I've got like four brow products here. Holy crap. Going back with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Doing most of everything with it. And this is my side that has the like scar in the weird situation. So I get really quiet trying to get this right on the side because it is a pain in the booty to get it looking right. Going in with the precisely my brow. And since they are different shades, I am going and kind of giving some brush strokes through there. I guess it's not a brush, but some strokes through there to kind of bring it together and make it look um, more natural, giving some different dimensions in there. I didn't do as bad on him, he's better. I really just need to get my um, brows wax really bad. That might make it easier. Because I've got tons of little hairs everywhere. All right, guys, so that looks good. We've got them taken care of. Now we look normal. So now that they're done, we need to do some eyeshadow. I am gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter um, eyeshadow palette and it's the tropical days palette I am going to use this shade here at the top left I don't know my directions and just kind of bring that all over and I just don't really I don't want to do like a super like I don't even know I just don't want something that I have to do a lot of work I know that sounds bad but I did make up but I didn't go crazy. I didn't do a lot. It was easy, it was fast, it was simple. That's what I'm looking for. Um, on the actual eyelid, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the Stila um, Glitters and Glow. And this is the Rose Gold Retro. These make life way easier. And it is starting to dry out, which I'm super upset about. Or slash, I'm probably almost out because I am having to scratch around the edges. This one has been my favorite. It's like more natural looking and really easy to wear. And it's pretty, it goes with pretty much everything. So. You don't have to worry about it not looking good. Then we're gonna take a um, denser uh, fluffy brush and let's go in with this mauve shade here. It's on the bottom right. And I'm just going to use that as my 
blending shade. For a drugstore palette, this has actually been a pretty decent palette. My biggest things about it that I do not like, they skip. They're not, um, they're smooth in the sense that they feel good, but it's not a smooth color payoff. Um, it skips a lot no matter what I've done. I've tweaked it, played with it, um, but they'll skip on your, I think you would know what I'm talking about if you have ever played with anything like this before. Um, you are you doing everything you can and should, and it'll just kind of look like almost ripples. Um, it's not doing it today, of course, when I'm talking about it, but it'll kind of look like ripples across um, your eyelid, which is super annoying. Like, who wants to deal with that? And I've tried blending and doing all the things, all the tips, all the tricks that I know and I've heard. Cannot get it to smooth out right. So, I don't know what else to do, but no one really notices, but it's annoying. Um, I am going to go in with this white shade here and do that on the brow bone. So that's my only con with this eyeshadow palette. Um, the colors are good. I like almost all of them. Um, I haven't played with some, so I can't speak for the whole palette as a whole, but for the palette, what I have used, I do like it. Just be aware that it does skip. The only thing I have not tried, and this could be part of the problem, is I have not tried the um, like a eyeshadow primer underneath. But in saying that, with my Urban Decay palettes, I really don't use primers. I just go in with it and I've never had a problem. So I don't want to say that that's what it is because I can use that and it'd be fine, but it might because it's drugstore. Who knows? I don't really have, that's the only drugstore palette I have. So it could be that. Um, I'm going to go in with the Gimme Brow. This is a small sample size in the shade 3. This will just kind of help thicken up your brows and make them look thicker. It gives you a little bit of tone um, and it helps to set them. I'm almost out of this little bigger and I already have my full size of it. I really like it. Um, so it is a good go-to. And then I did finally, for the first time ever, purchase MAC uh, Prep and Prime. I got the mini and then I am going to, when I go back to Ulta, and get my face tape and probably the books and blushes and the face tape um, setting powder. I'll probably go ahead and pick up the new um, Bloom Bloom or Boom Boom Bloom or whatever the heck it's called. It's got like the flowers on it. It's supposed to smell amazing. I am going to get the full size in that. So I did want to just get the mini to try it out first and just have on my side and we have trips coming up in April. Um, so I wanted to have some mini. So I did get it. I do like it. Um, the only thing I will say is I have read it's not the best setter for your makeup. So what I do is after I'm done with all my shadows and I have been doing this with the face tape and I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to keep duplicating. After I've done all my powders, I use that, let it dry, and then I do my highlighter and then I do my mascara and then I do my final seal in with my um, all nighter or whatever I want to use to finish off my face. Um, and it's been working really well. But I am going to use something new. I'm super excited about this. So I'm a sucker, clearly, for the things sitting up front. Yeah, at Ulta. So this was another one. It's the uh, ColourPop, and I've never used anything in ColourPop, but I've heard some good stuff about them. It's a highlighter uh, duo, and they were like 14 bucks or something. This one looks kind of dark, so I'm not gonna go for him. Um, but I do want to play with this gold shimmery champagne shade. Oh my god, it's the first time I swatched it. Oh geez. Oh, you can't see it on my arm. Okay. We'll do it on my face and see how that looks. Um, let's go in with my favorite highlighter um, brush. Super soft. That is like really hard to see on my hand. Mm, I'm really light on my hand though. Let's see if we can get a good payoff. I asked the girl up front, I was like, 
are these good? And she's like, well, I haven't personally used them, but people really love them. So I was like, fine. It's $14 for two. Like, worst case scenario, I get a little bit of shimmer. I could use them as an eyeshadow. It almost has like a pinky type of reflect to it. I like it. Yeah, it almost has like a pinky reflect, which it could be picking up the blush a little bit. I ain't mad. I like it. For the price. Heck yeah. Hmm. I do feel like I have to keep building this up though. That's the only negative. I feel like I have to go in a couple times to get the color payoff that I want. It's definitely nice. It feels good on the skin. It's not chalky. It's not like glittery, um, which I hate. Um, I like it. What do you guys think? Have you tried it? Do you like it? What do you think? What is this color called? Lunch Money. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. That's better. Could be the lighting, because I feel like when I look in the mirror, it's way more obvious than on camera. I don't know, it looks totally different on camera than it does in the mirror, because in the mirror it definitely looks a little bit more out there. But it's pretty, I like it, I will keep using it and letting you guys know, but that's first impression. I had to build it up a little bit, but I do like the color, so that is good. Let's go in with Roller Lash. I do love Roller Lash, and I need to finish using this mini. So, when I'm trying to do a fast, easy eyeshadow or makeup look, I don't contour. Sometimes I'll bronze, sometimes I won't. We did today. I don't do a um, shadow under my eye. And I do like to grab for the Stila Glitter and Glows because that was super fast. The payoff is good, pigment wise. And then I just do a blending shade. And then for my lipstick, I'm just gonna go in with one of my sheer tints by Urban Decay. I don't know which one yet, probably I think it's called Lady Flower. It kind of has like a purpley tone to it. It's really pretty. You guys, this highlighter is looking better than I thought it did. Now that I'm kind of like, yeah, it's definitely better than I thought it was. Okay, my first impression is getting better. So my first, very first impression was like, mm, I have to build it up a lot, quite a bit. But now that I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, it's really pretty. So. Let it set for a second and you might change your mind. I'm liking it better than I thought I, <laughs> than I, thought I did. <laughs> That's good. I'm not gonna wear any lashes or anything. They cause me more problems than anything. Um, just because my eyes are super sensitive. So I just want to go like this, not worry about it and not have to worry about them irritating my eyes any. I don't wanna do any eyeliner. So out of my sheer tints, these are the three colors I have. Um, so Lady Flower, Obsessed, and Bittersweet. Mm, we're not gonna do that one. Let's go with this one, just to give me a little bit more tone so I don't look so washed out since I'm not going in with as much as I'm used to. So this one's Sheer Bittersweet. It's kind of like a purpley color. And I love these like for on the go quick, like don't have to worry about it being like a lipstick and they wear really well. So I highly recommend these and they've got some really pretty colors. Um, I think that looks really good. I'm really pleased with this look. Yay! So we'll finish um, spraying and setting. Mm, I'm almost out of this one. So. The all-nighter is awesome. I love that this one has pollution protection. It's a couple dollars more, but 
I don't care. I like that. I still like to have that extra protection if I can. Um, so here's the finished look. I really enjoyed um, doing this. It was easy. It was quick. Now, I could have obviously done faster if um, I wasn't talking, but that's okay. I like talking and doing this for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the look. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you know when my next video goes up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.